I'm honestly the most fearful about being not used to having red hair and being uncomfortable with the look. I've never done a complete color change, so this will be a really new experience for me. Hi, I'm Savannah McCown and I'm getting muted red hair. I have been flirting with this idea of muted red hair for quite some time. I think it started when I saw a picture of FK Twigs on Instagram rocking the look and then I kept seeing celebrities like Kylie Jenner do it and SZA and those are all celebrities and artists that I'm really inspired by. Growing up, I was never allowed to dye my hair. My mom was pretty strict about that and then in college, I decided I'm just gonna cut my hair super short and do like balayage. I did that for a couple years and then I had bangs, I've dyed it dark brown. I am excited to just kind of spice up my look and have something different. It'll be fun to just like enter into the world with this new hair and this new look and kind of be like, what's up world, it's me, I'm a redhead now. <laughs> Welcome to Hair in Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm so excited to be here. Hi, I'm Danny Moon. I'm a hair colorist and owner of Hair Los Angeles. You can see my work on the heads of Haley Kiyoko and recently Brock Hampton. I'm a hair color specialist that specializes in multicolor, anywhere from rainbow to brunettes to redheads to platinum blondes. I've been doing hair now for 20 years and it feels like yesterday. I wanna do kind of a muted red look, uh, more on the burgundy end. Awesome, it's been one of my favorite colors lately. It's just so vibrant and natural at the same time. So, mm -hmm. let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. Today I'm gonna to give Savannah red muted hair. First things first, I'm gonna give her a robe, set her up, make her feel comfortable, because we're gonna about to go on a journey. We'll be going from natural to just a little bit warmer, and you'll see how that opens up her face and just makes her glow. You're used to seeing really bright colors from me, but I also like to create variations of color for everybody. I'm gonna check her hair to see how it lifts with color. I have three different variations of the color. One is copper red, one is pure red, and one is high lift red with another red. So this will give me from brightest to least brightest. I do this so I can see what kind of formula that I have to create for her natural hair so I don't have to use bleach. This will give me some kind of results in about five to 10 minutes. I put it in a foil and then next thing you know it, boom, I have exactly a roadmap to how I'm going to color her hair. After the strand test, we decided to go with a medium muted red brown. This just lights her up the right amount from somebody going from natural to colored. You know, you gotta give them baby steps just to kind of get comfortable in this new world. And next, we're gonna start the process. When mixing up your reds, you wanna have two different formulas. That's what I did here. For the middle to the ends, I made one formula and I put it in foils to increase the heat and to bump up the color a little bit. The color was on for about 35 minutes before I started adding the root color for another 15 minutes, just to catch up. Then I played a little bit of heat just to give you a little bit more of the punch. So what I like to do when I'm not using bleach is I like to put hair color in foils. I raise the volume up in the developer so it makes the color stronger. When the hair color is in foils, this boosts up the color and it keeps the hair healthier. I let it process for the right amount of time. It can go from 30 to 45 minutes and then I start pulling out when I know that the hair color is done. I was really happy with how everything was evenly processed. The good thing about color and doing these kind of colors with hair color is that the hair stays in the best shape and you don't take the risk of damage when you're using bleach. You can also use bleach when the hair has been processed in other ways. Once everything's processed and I'm super happy, we go to the shampoo bowl and now the relaxation starts to happen. Some of my favorite shampoo and conditioners for hair color is Szechuan. It has the right amount of moisture, smells beautiful, and has a little bit of weight for hair that's been processed already. 
So I shampoo twice just to make sure everything off her scalp, everything's off her ends, and then her hair is getting prepared to be conditioned. Once I condition, I bring her back to the chair and I prep her hair to be styled. I love to use the six in one Virtue Hair Styling product to give it a little bit of shine as I start to blow dry. I also love their healing oil. Every time I put it on, people just die over the smell. It's, it happens every time and I know why because every time I put it on, I'm the same way once again in love with the product. Once I grab my round brushes and section the hair out, into four, I start to style. After the blow dry, I pull out the curling iron because I want to pull out the Diva to the max. And now we're ready for the big reveal. All right, Savannah, are you ready? Yes. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's medium spicy to death, I love it. My immediate reaction, I was like, who is she? Definitely overwhelmed, but in a good way. I honestly feel like a different person. I am obsessed with it. I was looking at it in the mirror just now and I felt like Jessica Rabbit, so that was fun. I definitely feel like it's opened up a new side of me and I'm really excited to show my friends and my family. I feel like everyone's gonna be really excited about it. Savannah overall was the best. I asked her, who her dentist was, because she had the best smile that I've seen all year. But she was the best vibe, and that vibe always comes across when we're doing hair. It feels like a huge change. I keep thinking I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> I don't think it's really sunk in yet, but I'm already over the moon. I feel like I'm just gonna be on cloud nine for as long as possible. The best way to upkeep this look is use color-treated shampoo and conditioner. The hair color stays in the hair at its potency for about six to eight weeks. From there, all you need to do is put a gloss on and it'll bring the life right back. I'm very relieved I didn't have to get my hair bleached. I thought that was kind of the process, especially with someone that has brown hair. So to know that I didn't have to bleach my hair and I could keep my hair super healthy is so great. Being able to spread joy with hair color, with hair, with hairstyling, being able to see people happy or these different versions of themselves has enriched my life. I'm not just coloring your hair, I'm coloring your shoes too. Check out my upcoming Reebok collaboration. I'm very excited to go out with my friends and show off my new hair, as well as be the most fiery person in the Zoom chat. Yeah, I kind of just like explore the world with my new mane. Thanks for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.